Latest government statistics say there were around 3,600 HIV and AIDS patients by September 2013. The same research, though, pointed at an alarming trend. We're still a country of low prevalence because uh, the, the prevalence of HIV among the general population is below 1%, but we are on the verge of being a concentrated epidemic country, particularly in two groups, the uh, men having sex with men and the, the drug addicts, intravenous drug addicts. More than 50% of the patients are aged between 20 to 34 years an indication that they begun engaging in risky behavior earlier in their life, in school years. In all schools, we have some information about AIDS, but it's only a couple of sentences, which are not enough to answer all the questions a student might have. So we want to turn to teachers and give them proper training to be able to fill in this gap. Sex education has been a controversial topic in recent years here in Egypt. Conservatives oppose legislation tailored to introduce sex education in public schools. We don't have to provide sex education for our children, but we must make them aware of sexually transmitted diseases, which is not only AIDS. We must deliver that while preserving our conservative and religious habits. 70% of the Egyptian patients have been infected through unprotected sex, and with the increase of risk habits among the youth, experts say education has become the most crucial factor for awareness. Yet some believe it's not enough. 150 child I had surveyed for the HIV risk behaviors, I found that around 60 or 70 percent of them had sexual experiences around the age of nine, around the age of nine or ten years old. It's a very low age compared even to street children around the world. Uh, also, they have uh, a high tendency to turn to substance abuse at very low ages, like nine and a half years old also. So they are at very high risk of acquiring the HIV. The official ratio of the current HIV and AIDS patients to the entire Egyptian population is less than one for each 22,000. It's quite low, but these rates are increasing. So many of the alarmed experts and officials have just realized the importance of increasing awareness in schools' curricula. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Alexandria.